Now when we scroll down, we see the test results. As I said earlier, you will need to familiarize yourself with what these numbers mean. You'll notice that several different measures of readability appear, including flesh Kincaid, Gunning Fog, Smog, and coleman lau indices. You may or may not be familiar with these measures for readability. If you're not familiar, you might want to take a few minutes to read about them on Wikipedia so that you can understand exactly what kind of information they provide and how their algorithms work. Below those specific indices, you'll see some more general information about number of sentences, words, and syllables. Each teaching context is different, so we can't tell you exactly which is best for your needs. The best way is to educate yourself before you try to interpret any of the results. If you are pleased with what you have discovered here, then take a screenshot, which you will eventually paste into a document to submit for this assignment. Now let's go back and try the URL method. To use a web address, all we need to do is copy it from the URL bar. Instead of copying and pasting the text, we're going to paste the web address. And then we'll do the same thing, click Calculate Readability, and we'll get some results. Here we can see a summary of the test results, which says that this reading passage has an average grade level and that it should be easily understood by 13 to 14 year olds. It's important to remember that many of these readability measures were designed for American contexts. So if some of them don't quite make sense to you, that's fine. Just choose a different one. The second readability tool that we'd like to introduce is called the Readability Analyzer. It works in a very similar way to the previous tool we discussed, but it provides some extra features that you might like to take advantage of such as an overall readability analysis, paragraph level analysis, and some other tools such as a difficult word finder, passive voice detector, and a spell checker. On the left side of the readability analyzer, you'll see the options for inputting text, which are copying and pasting a text into the box or uploading a file to analyze. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use this tool with the same text that we use for the other readability tool. This means that I need to go back to the Project Gutenberg page and copy Chapter 1 of Moby Dick and paste it into the Readability Analyzer. Now I'm going to click Analyze and get some results. Here you can see that the analyzer tells us how many sentences, how many words per sentence, and how many characters per words. It also gives us a percentage of difficult words, which is an estimate. You can read more about that here, how that algorithm works. Over here you can see some familiar readability scores, such as Flesh, Gunning Fog, Flesh Kincaid, Smog, etc. These may or may not be useful to you, but in order to really understand them, hover your mouse over the question mark that is beside each one to get a general sense of what kinds of measures they are. You can also, with the Readability Analyzer, look at paragraph level readability. Here you can see that chapter one has multiple paragraphs that have been broken down and each of them has different scores. Other readability tools include the Difficult and Extraneous Word Finder, Passive Voice Detector, and Spell Checker. Again, you'll need to explore these on your own to discover which ones are useful for you and for your students. So, to review, readability tools are a handy way to check the difficulty level of any text you intend to use with your students. How you use this will depend on the level and age of your student population, their specific needs, your curriculum, and other things. We hope that you are able to make at least one of these tools work in your specific context.